Okay guys, I got the, some recovery error. Your PC or your device needs to be repaired. So the error code is like, it's a file, it's a BCD, error code like 0x is something like 00098. So if you guys are getting the error like this, you're gonna follow the number of steps in this tutorial. One of the other steps will definitely help you. In case if it helps, you're gonna share this video with your friends and family. Troubleshoot. In the troubleshoot, again, you have an advanced option. Inside advanced option, again, you need to come back to the command prompt and then you're gonna choose command prompt and click on it. So guys, you have to type all the commands correctly without any spelling mistake. Okay guys, I hope command is visible or you can watch it in a full screen. So you can see, even I've left the command in the pinned post, it's a comment section down below. B-O-O-T-R-E-C dot E-X-E slash rebuild B-C-D. And guys, you're gonna press enter key. So this might take some time. Finally, once you're done, you're gonna type the second command. Okay guys, this is the second command you need to type. Boot rec dot exe space slash fix mbr. Click on enter. Okay, now the third command and the last command that you need to type. bootrec.exe slash fix boot fix boot press enter key it's some kinds of access denied so sometime you get the message like this so type all these commands correctly and maybe in your case access is not denied in my case, it's access denied, two commands work successfully, third command access denied. So anyway, you're gonna type all these three commands correctly, and then finally, you just have to exit it. Exit the command prompt, turn off your PC, and then start your PC again, or just directly, you're gonna restart your computer. Okay guys, you're gonna run this command uh, without any spelling mistake. So you can even run this command from a advanced mode. Currently you can see it is in a administrator command prompt. So you can run this command even from X drive in an advanced mode if you cannot turn on your PC. Access the command prompt from advanced mode and then you can run this command. Press enter key. You can see, so everything is okay. And here it is, the boot code was successfully updated on all targeted volume. Okay guys, this is another command you're gonna run. You can run this command also from uh, advanced mode if you cannot turn on your PC. Press enter key. So guys, you got, I got a uh, error 87. So some, spe uh, some spelling mistakes, there's no, uh, okay. Some spelling mistake. So in case of uh, restore, I have a scan health and everything is okay. I just put the space in between and then I'm gonna press uh, enter key. Now you can see it's working. So you're gonna use this command instead of first one. First one really do not work. So it's just gonna take some time and it will be done. So you can run this command uh, from uh, advanced mode also if you cannot log in into your pc so if you have a loop problem you can run it from advanced mode it's x drive just keep some time and it will be done So if you do not proceed ahead, just uh, hit enter key and it will start working. So you can see uh, it's down with a 39-41%. So you can see 100% the operation completed successfully. Now you're going to exit it. And then I have to give one restart to your computer. And then I have to check if the issue is fixed. 
Okay, guys, you're going to type the command SFC space slash scan now. It needs to be together and press enter again. So it will take some time. Uh, let it to complete 100% and you're all done. Okay, guys, you can sit down with the 100%. Now just exit it. Okay, let me exit it and press enter again. Finally, we'll just uh, give a restart your PC and check if uh, it fixes the issue. You're gonna choose command prompt and click on that. You're gonna choose the user account. So you might be having a multiple number of user in your computer. So you're going to choose the user. Make sure you have a administrator privilege to the user. Enter the password if you have password for your account and click on continue. And now here you have a command prompt. Okay guys, I hope command is visible. It will locate the bad sector and recover some of the files that is readable. So guys, you just have to press enter key after you type it correctly. Now you can see it is going on, everything is in process. Just give some time. Doing this might take a pretty long time, so just keep some time. Finally, once you're done, you're going to press exit. So if it asks you for the, any kinds of permission in your computer, like yes or no, you're going to type Y for yes, and then press enter key. So finally, it's all done. You're going to exit it, and now restart your computer. When I click on troubleshoot, I have uh, six different options over here. I'll click on a startup repair in the very beginning. So the PC will check for all the necessary repairs it can attempt. See, a startup repair could not repair your PC. Either I can sort down or advanced option. Go to source and type update. Here you have check for updates. Click on it. Are you going to type check for updates straightly? So when you type check for updates, you're going to see this window. What you're going to do is you can download and install the updates, or you can just check for the updates. It will check for all the necessary updates. Finally, you can see it is downloading and installing. And then after you can restart your PC. Don't forget to restart for the changes to take effect. So this will fix the issue. It's a, some, uh, you can see this one is completed manually. Just download and install. If any options over here, it is a manually to download and install. You have to download and install manually. And restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So this should fix the issue. So how do you install the Windows 11 by using a bootable USB flash drive? So at first you need to create a bootable USB flash drive. And then after you're going to enter the BIOS in your PC. Once you enter the BIOS, so you can check for it on Google. So different brand has a different function key. So I'm using Lenovo, restart the PC and continuously press the F1 key, uh, help you enter the BIOS. You're going to choose uh, the boot, system boot capability as a UEFI. If it is a legacy, you're going to choose UEFI. If it is already UEFI, you don't have to do anything. Next thing, uh, it's a boot priority. The somewhere in this uh, bar setting also, 
you'll see the boot priority the first boot device you can choose it as a usb bootable drive so for my pc uh, it's a f12 key in order to enter into the boot menu option so different pc has a different function some pc uses to restart it and press the escape key continuously you can enter the boot menu so in some pc here over in the somewhere you want to see in the different tab different pc has a different arrangement in advance or somewhere you want to see the boot priority the first boot priority you can see that you choose a usb flash drive so now i'm going to save it so in order to save you can see it's f10 to save and exit so whichever key help you to save and exit you can save and exit it now i'm going to press the f12 key so for this pc f12 key seriously works so i forgot to insert the bootable usb flash drive so do not do this mistake insert your usb bootable usb flash drive so it's uh, not detecting so i should have inserted it in the beginning itself so i'm going to skip it and again i'm going to press the f12 key so i'll have to restart the pc again so i'm restarting the press pc again and pressing the f12 key i can see now it is recognizing i'm going to boot it from my usb bootable pen drive my can see setup is starting so it might take some time you can see this you can choose the language and all click on next and then click on install now so setup is starting now so if it can ask you for any kind of license key so you must have uh, purchased a license key so enter the license key or you can just visit the microsoft.com website and you can get the general license key and you enter the license key so uh, my pc supports the pro version so i'm just going to install the pro version so in this 11 pro after selecting it you're going to click on next it gonna ask you to accept it so you can choose any operating system with whatever license you have purchased since i have the licensed pc for the pro version i choose the pro version so depending upon your pc whichever license key you have purchased you're going to choose that so i'm going to select uh, select any one of the drive where you you would like to install so it's a 99.4 gb i'm going to install over here in this drive so at first I'm going to just format it. Now I'll choose the drive and then click on next. Now it is copying the file. So completing this process is gonna take some time. So you can just walk around and come. So during the installation process, your PC might restart for the several times. Now just a moment.
Okay, finally, here you have your Windows 11 ready.